Yo guys, welcome to vlog 93 of Project 29. Uh, oh, look, right there is the bottom of the Spider-Man poster making another cameo in the vlog. Uh, in today's uh, video, I wanted to talk to you about something I read uh, today and uh, the principle behind it essentially is something that I think uh, can apply to a number of things in life and it was certainly a, an encouragement to me so I hope it's uh, an encouragement to you but essentially uh, the little phrase is burn your ships burn your ships right so here's the context in which I read of this today uh, many of you will know uh, a manager in the music industry called Scooter Braun and I don't know how I came across this uh, this story actually anyway but uh, Scooter Braun is obviously uh, the manager of Justin Bieber. Justin is his biggest artist in his portfolio, but of course he manages a number of others. He manages uh, sort of artists like Carly Rae Jepsen and uh, Psy as well. And uh, this article that I came across somehow was saying that um, when Scooter is meeting prospective clients or uh, assessing opportunities or business opportunities, whatever they may be, he will often ask people, uh, did you burn your ships? And here is the historical context uh, that he's referring to when he is asking them that question. Uh, it's known that the ancient Greeks, when they were going into other lands to conquer them uh, and ar arrived on new shores and the like, they would then turn around and burn their ships, set them on fire. And uh, that, long and short of it, essentially meant there was no way home for them. And the symbolic nature of that is that what they were symbolizing in burning their ships was that they were prepared to make a go of where they were and what they were there to do. Uh, and they were saying, we're going to uh, we're going to make this work, essentially, if you want to make it into a contextualized uh, application for what we're talking about. And uh, so Scooter will ask uh, people if they're prepared to do that and what he's asking is will you give your all will you uh, is this what you really want like will you uh, remove those things that give you an out if things get hard like will you stick with it uh, will you give your all and try your best and that's the application that I took from it uh, in that there are things in life that we often decide we want to go after and uh, see happen but we stop short of uh, where we want to be, basically. And I think in my uh, experience, uh, I'm prone to sometimes leave what I would call little safety nets uh, in place in case things don't go uh, as we want them to or as we expected. And we sort of go back to what we know, back to what's uh, familiar and uh, secure, if you will, just in case things don't go uh, like we want them to and uh, the lesson the teaching point or the lesson that I took out of uh, reading that today was that uh, in life when there are things that you really want to see happen uh, ask yourself if you're prepared to burn your ships if you're prepared to stick with something to really give it a go and to uh, not leave those safety nets in place to uh, be prepared to give your all, to put your best hand to the plow and to really give it a good crack, to stay uh, committed to it, to stick with it, to show some dedication and really give it a good go. And uh, yeah, it challenged me to think about that in my own life uh, as much as hopefully I'm hoping this is an encouragement to you guys. Uh, it challenged me to think about that in my own life. Like uh, when once I've decided what uh, a course of action should be um, to to really give my best and to not uh, to not flake out when things get difficult or whatever so uh, that was just a little analogy uh, and it was encouraging to me as I said so I hope it was encouraging to you guys um, and also just uh, to finish if you guys do have things that you want to chase in life or dreams that you want to see happen um, I would encourage you, just like I always say to myself, go for it. Just try and start doing it and see what happens. Um, who knows where, where you'll end up or where we'll all end up in life if we just try those things that uh, that we're wanting to try. 
often in my case too, if I'm completely honest, uh, I have the propensity or am prone to let uh, worries or fears even um, stop me from even trying. So in that case, I would encourage you guys to not let uh, worries or concerns or that kind of thing even stop you from trying um, and go after the things that you want to see happen because uh, who knows what can happen if you uh, keep going and uh, decide to burn your ships and not give up when the going gets tough and uh, if you look at life, just one final note, if you look at life uh, and the people that you would see as successful in life now, I would often see them as like an iceberg and I think I've mentioned this on a vlog somewhere before uh, in Project 29 but the reason I use the iceberg analogy is that today when we look at the those people that we see as successful or see as those that we admire we look at the tip of the iceberg as their success but what we don't often see is the years and years of hard work or the struggles or the not having any money or the not having a place to live uh, before they reached what we see as their success today and yet the reason they reached their success today is because they didn't give up in those times when they had no money, they had no car, they had no place to live, they couldn't find a job, they couldn't break into the industry they wanted to be in or anything like that. Um, so again, final words of encouragement, chase what you're after, stick with it, uh, and who knows where we'll end up. It'll be exciting to see. Hope that was as encouraging to you as it was to me um, to burn your ships and to fully give everything you have to those things in life that you want to see happen and to uh, give your best. That's the vlog for today. Thanks for watching as always. We'll see you tomorrow.